Which, let's stand as we sing this song and make sure that you meet and greet our new sister in, in Christ, Jordan Alexander. Here we are, the strange Mother's Day to all you ladies. My presentation this morning, however, has nothing to do with Mother's Day. Sorry, ladies. Um, Keith, you'd like to come here? <laughs> uh, first, I want to let Keith know he's, he's probably been wondering, you know, nobody's saying anything about me being here 25 years, and uh, we've been working on this a little bit, and uh, we wanted all the elders to be here the day that we recognized you for this. There you go. You've now been officially recognized. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> and today was a day that all five elders are gonna be here. So we picked today as today. Um, I have some notes here and I wrote this thing out and I just wanted to read it because I can't memorize stuff anymore. My brain won't let me do that. So if you would bear with me, I'd like to read this. Uh, it's entitled, I Thought I Would Write a Poem About Keith. <laughs> it says, Keith, Keith. Can't think of too many words that rhyme with Keith. Well, there's teeth. But what can you say about his teeth? I'm sure he has all of them. I suppose I could use the word belief. You know, his strong faith and belief. I suppose that could work. Wait, what about Ellis? Yeah, I could start with Keith Ellis. Still hard to find rhyming words that I could use uh, the, the word fellas, but that wouldn't work either because there's only one Keith. He does have a twin brother named Kevin, but that would just open another can of worms. Wait, what rhymes with worms? No, that wouldn't work either. Don't, don't want to talk about worms when I'm writing a poem about Keith. I could write a poem about his great preaching ability, or maybe how he has helped a lot of people over the years because of his counseling ability. Ever tried rhyming the word ability? Well, there's utility. Hard to make that fit, even though I know he has unstocked a toilet or two. Maybe I could write about his love for children. He does love children and they love him, but I don't want to make a lot of people cry. I probably better not go there. I thought of using a lot of words that po poets use, like fluffy crowd, clouds, rainbows, sunshine, trees and the sort. You know, a lot of things that make us feel good. After all, Keith does make us feel good. I know, how about cats and dogs? That would make the animal lovers smile. However, Keith is, does pretend not to be too fond of his two dogs, or Lynn's dogs as he calls them. But deep down, we really know that Keith loves Mo and Joe. Writing poems comes easy for some folks, but clearly it's not my cup of tea. Ever heard the expression, when someone accidentally rhymes something, I'm a poet and didn't know it? Well, here's a new one for you. I'm not a poet, and now I know it. <clears throat> I could take a deep breath right here. 
and simply say, Keith, you're our preacher, our brother, and our friend, and we love you. And we thank you for 25 years of wonderful service to our church family here at College Avenue. Thank you, Keith. One other note, I think we ordered your plaque from the same place we ordered those pins because the, pl the, the plaque is not ready yet and didn't come in, so we didn't get it. But we do have a nice plaque, and when it comes in, if it comes in this week, I want you to bring it up next Sunday up here and show it to everybody, okay? And we also have a gift for you from the congregation, from our church family. And we want you to take that gift, and maybe you and Lynn can hook up your RV and camper and head to... You like the uh, woods up and uh, up around the north part, don't you? Like the the, the, the mountain area? Okay, we'd like y'all to take a few days and go up there. Thank you, Keith. <laughs>